So Aquarius, we do have the Hermit. Somebody is in retreat over here and we do have the Seven of Swords energy. Somebody is not telling the truth about a separation, about ghosting, about um, being silent, you know. Somebody is keeping quiet and in emotional withdrawal over here. That is a need for time and space. Let's have the um, last shuffle and then we cut the cards to see the bottom of the deck for the overall um, energy this week, the most important one. And we do have new beginnings. Are we afraid of new beginnings or fighting for new beginnings over here? Definitely that is an energy of fighting and that is an energy of starting completely new. So we might be struggling or really standing our ground for a new beginning. We will see Aquarius over here. We will see. So past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see the current energies. Current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's see the possible outcome, Aquarius, for the third week of January or later. We know we are working with energy, so on your side, the person you are dealing with. Mutual energies, bottom of the deck. Yes, we are rebuilding foundations and we count achievement. Maybe with a Capricorn you are dealing with over here. Yes, building foundations, Aquarius. I love the overall energy. We are fighting for a foundation. Are you kidding me? That's why we love combining two decks. Because if, I mean, the in the, in the past, Aquarius, we have the Ace of Cups twice. So that was kind of a love that was out of ordinary. Um, there were a lot of emotions involved and probably new beginnings um, on top of new beginnings and new beginnings and love on top of love. Um, this is, you know, when I see this combination of cards speaks to me of the energy, you know, when we meet somebody and our uh, heart skips a bit, that's exactly the energy, right? Every time I would, we would see this person, you know, they would be, he or she would be beautiful and would, um, directly connect, right? To our heart and feelings and mind and body and, um, and soul. And again, our heart would skip a bit with um, this person. Um, now, Aquarius, the, pers the person you are dealing with, they have the three of wands. So yeah, they were, uh, they meant business, right? Because it's partnership and alliances. This is three of wands. For some of you, they might have waited on you. Um, they've been, you know, single and waiting for you to, um, you know, to be available and give them lo the love that you gave. Um, but if your question was, uh, you know, if they were um, committed to you, if there was a moment of sincerity and, and um, you know, a sense of I want to be with Aquarius no matter what, yes, they are. Um, probably focusing also on their money. You might be dealing with somebody who um, is very um, business driven because Nine of Pentacles is the card of self-employed focusing on themselves, on their money, financial independence, uh, being abundant. This is also a card of well-being. So maybe somebody was, um, you know, somebody works in the uh, in the well-being and, and um, you know, all kinds of um, healing, uh, body, mind, and soul kind of energy. Um, and again, I go back to the partnership. They had a solid partnership to offer to you in the past. Mutual energies between the two of you, some more building partnership and foundations, and we have the sun card. Maybe uh, this is a Leo you are dealing with, Aquarius, but this is also the energy of a child. This is also the energy of awakening to this connection, awakening to this partnership, to this abundance, and building something that uh, withstands the test of time, right? Under the sun, in clear light, you know? And it does look, of course, maybe... In terms of energy, somebody is extremely practical. And Aquarius on your side, we have a world of emotions of love. So, but again, you pick and choose your um, 
your side, right? But there was definitely a warm love love over here. Tremendous amount of love and tremendous belief in uh, what this connection can achieve and can develop and can build and what kind of roots you can put down. I mean, the past was amazing. Silent energies right now, we have a disruption. We are going through a boom, Aquarius, right? Disruption. And still we have a pentacle for them, don't we? <laughs> like I like it to say, we still love the bastard, but you get my point, right? Um, we are rebuilding. We are rebuilding. Whatever happened, there was a boom, probably a separation, probably going separate ways. Maybe whatever you built went down in flame for some reasons. Maybe there were investments. Maybe you had business partners. Might have been an investment of some sort because whatever this is, it is disruption going back to the same solid offer. It's the pentacle that is the beginning of the fortune, you know, that's in tarot, the ideas of pentacles. So it goes back to new beginnings. Yeah, it was a disruption. It was a boom. Something went down in play. Money were lost for some of you. Um, and, and maybe a home, um, you know, a sense of security went fully in flame. And it's um, kind of here to say it was built on dreams and sand. And now it is time to start again. You know, prosperity begins. As soon as we get rid of whatever was um, not solid, we have this prosperity begins, Ace of Pentacles. I would say quite an energy. Uh, I would say quite an energy, Aquarius. A beautiful energy, actually. And that is love. And not only love, they have passion for you. I don't know what happened. I don't know who left. It looks like a mess. But in the same time, the mess is surrounded with beauty. We do have five of cups. They, they miss you, Aquarius. They This person misses you. And also, we have the Ace of Wands, Passion Ignited. This is one thing, a new beginning. This is one thing, a new passionate relationship going back together. This is focusing on the empty cups and ignoring the cups that are still between the two of you because cups of love and offerings are on the table coming from both of you, actually. And it's uh, not any kind of. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, which is uh, potential to grow. And um, on their side, we have the, eight of, the Ace of Wands, passion and passion and some more passion. And I dare to, to notice also and kind of uh, show you, right, that we have a shift in energy. So in the past, on your side, we do have Ace of Cups, emotional, emotional, emotionally fulfilling experience, right? This is somebody really filling your heart with the most loving energy ever. While on their side in the past, we have hardworking energies, partnership energies, building energies, roots energies. And now we have you fully practical. Yes, that was a disruption. Yes, it was the end of the world. But we can have again what we had. While this person becomes all ones, right? Passion. I love this. I love this. Of course, they had the three of ones, but it's a different three of ones is waiting for ships to come home. If this is the investment card, we almost see, um, you know, what we invested becoming more and more abundant. While the ace of ones is I have nothing but God forbid, I'm so passionate about this new opportunity to start over. I love this. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the nine of wands, spiritual strength. We are both getting stronger spiritually and you are both connecting with the nature. Uh, this is meditation card. This is resting, rejuvenating. This is healing your mind and planning and strategizing because I'm not going to lie right now might be a little bit of a mess. Uh, I mean, the tower we know, right? It went down in flames and in pieces and it was the most disruptive um, energy ever and um, but we no matter what, ha what happened nobody lost their passion and um, you know kind of the faith in it so it is a beautiful energy actually it is such a beautiful energy I know I know 
let's see moving forward Aquarius so on your side um, we do have obstacle and challenges and we have the will of fortune so this is a combination saying all the obstacles and challenges will be lifted this is destined to be this is destined to be yours this is um, you know all the path will be cleared so that you and your person have what you want this is the universe at work you know but this is destined to be yours no matter how big the obstacles and the challenges no matter how big the disruption at the core of this and it started in the past that is pure love okay so no matter how big this um, this is actually there is still a chance for a new beginning a leap of faith building something from scratch and i feel um, aquarius because it does look like a, a disruption of a home now we have the reconstruction of a home four of wands is about house and home and new beginning is really a leap of faith and starting over a journey to rebuild a house and a home that was um you know disrupted by um external energies i don't know what happened the cards are not saying and we have i love this might be a libra you are dealing with the person you are dealing with they have the justice and they have the spiritual strength in the nine of wands they are a little bit a card. Um, Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance, but it's also a card of being hurt. But at the end of the day, this is your soulmate moving towards balance and justice and a final decision and doing what's right in regards to you because they are now more uh, strong spiritually because they see a sense to persevere. They understand karma and destiny and lessons and they are willing to work with it. I love what's coming their way. Justice, but I love the I love the balance in it. Because somebody might have been out of balance and every time we reach the center, um, we um, attain this um, energy of um, no matter what, I'll always um, uh, you know be stable. No matter what, I, I'll, I'll always um, land on my two feet, you know, that kind of energy. And I feel this is what they are doing because again, just like you, they are equally hurt and they are equally missing you and longing for what this was, you know, and wanting and wanting. It's an energy of longing and wanting and emotions and love. So mutual energy between the two of you. Well, this is fighting for love, fighting for this love, Aquarius, both of you. Um, we do have spiritual union, so both of you know this is important, this is strong, that is a bond, right, of the mind and of the soul. And we do have this energy of seven of wands, standing your ground, fighting for this, putting boundaries if people are interfering in this love. This is about putting boundaries and just going um, all the way in, you know, for this love. I feel that it's worth um, fighting for um yeah again uh, we don't have all the energies of why the tower on the contrary we see energies of love of enlightenment of awakening of partnership of home and then we have the boom with the heart energy so whatever the boom was in your life um will not destroy the love there is no way they can destroy the love and the passion whatever boom and a sense of roots and home and family um that is no way you know and it's an energy of clearing the path over here the destiny steps in to clear the path you know and make it easy for you to access because right now it is broken right you see the picture right the, the man is walking and then the bridge is um, actually uh, split in two and then we have the destiny stepping in and saying well it is written so they they can go now um yeah i love this the boom will not destroy the love the boom did not destroy the love i love this um aquarius let's uh, ask for some guidance let's see what you are guided to do with this connection in terms of zodiac signs we have the fool sometimes we consider it uh, an aries because it's the first sign of the zodiac i tend to disagree sometimes because there are 
such um, different energies, right? Um, in a sense that the fool is all about taking a leap of faith, is all about, I don't care if I'm going to lose something, I'm going to go for it. This is, on the contrary, the energy of, I have nothing to lose, so I'll jump to this new opportunity, to this new life. I'm willing to experiment and see where it leads me. While the emperor is the opposite, is the fully opposite of it. It's all about organization, structure, laws. Um, you know, it's about doing what's right and building something solid from scratch, brick by brick. It's about having a plan, researching the data, and making evidence-based decisions, right? Um, so, but sometimes might be an Aries. We do have Leo um, energy. What else we have? We don't have a lot of zodiac signs and we have Libra energy. Sometimes the tower is Scorpio because of the death and disruption. Again, from time to time, I kind of disagree, but um, it might be for some of you. So if it resonates, yeah, it can be a Scorpio very well. We do have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, Aquarius. You, you need to be lighthearted about it. I, I, I don't know, flirting with somebody else is an advice, but as a piece of advice. But I believe the light and where I'm um, actually feeling comfortable is the lighthearted energy. You know, it's like staying, stay positive. It is safe for you to love them, Aquarius. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Oh yeah, you can love them. Then we have new love. Isn't it interesting? Um, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh my God, quite confusing. New love and true love. So maybe somebody needs to choose between a new love and a true love. What do you say, Aquarius? Is it your case? This is the romance of a lifetime. Well, definitely it is. And this love definitely gets um, renewed, actually. Uh, because this is the leap of faith and the renewal with the full. Surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. And right now, between you and this person, you have rest and rejuvenate, four of swords, silence. So actually, the universe is kind of saying it, it's all right. It is silence, but it's all right. You know, you have to surrender to silence. So in quiet meditation and contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. I love this. I just love this. Surrender to joy. Most definitely. Two of cups. If this is not joy, I wonder what this is. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. I just love this because um, I find the destiny is clearing the path over here, you know. And again, the boom did not destroy the love. Um, Aquarius, the boom did not destroy the love and the passion and the new beginnings that you guys want in, in both of you, you know, in the energies here. There's an energy of I miss you like crazy, you know, and I want you, I miss you and I want you like crazy and I miss the, the sensual moments we had, right? That's Ace of Wands with the five, with the five of cups. This is why I want to hold you. I want to touch you. I want you to be mine, you know? Five of Cups and Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy. Aquarius, this is beautiful energy. You can rebuild. Oh my God, this is, if there is one message to take away from this, is foundations will be rebuilt. Foundations will be rebuilt. My beautiful Aquarius, of course you, this is all that I have for you. Um, so, you know, you have to let me know what you think. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see you next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.